Hello, MCP and company. I shall give fans welcome back to part three of the Rhino Stampede to the Winter Olympic Trials. Yes, get ready for this immersive blend of audio and visual showcasing the extraordinary journey of these athletes. Through these one minute reels packed with excitement, we offer glimpses into the years of dedication that have led to this pinnacle moment. So stay tuned now. We're going to go on to that radio interview and then follow on for part four. Jeremy Harris, good to have you along. 13 minutes away from the top of the hour and an opportunity to finally catch up uh, with one of the busiest sportsmen I know, uh, Usman Zemising Joburg, uh, of course, captain uh, of the Rhinos, the SA men's ice hockey team, as they prepare for Olympic qualification. If you don't mind, every time I say that, Usman, I feel emotional. I feel like, what am I saying? What am I, what, what, what's going on? It feels so like destiny awaits us. Yeah, what an absolute pleasure, you know. I mean, it's been an absolute journey over the last couple of months to get here, so the boys are excited. Talk to me about what you guys are up to before we talk about the Olympics uh, and the qualification and what the, the the schedule looks like. What are you guys up to for the for the weekend? Yeah, so we we up in uh, Joburg for this week and the following weekend as well. We just going through a couple of long practices and some team building activities. And we actually have a paddle tournament going on. Later. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys know how to play a gentle sport like paddle. No, uh, we are actually. Uh, dominant and kind of, so. I don't doubt that guy I don't doubt that I, I just there's no pushing people against the board or anything there I'm just saying please oh, yeah but we also are gentlemen when it comes to our doubt <laughs> No, okay. Okay. So, so um, it, it's a team building. It's practice. It's getting yourselves ready for um, one of the biggest um, asks of you as a team, and that is Olympic qualification. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be uh, an absolute challenge among the last year. But I think if we're going there with the mentality that uh, we we are going to be the hardest team to play against, we're going to be very, very tough on each and every one of them. So I think we're going to make it very, very hard for each player to be better than us as a collective. I think man for man, we could have a, um, they could have the upper hand, but I don't think that would have a stronger collective than us. Absolutely. Uh, and, and do you know could be facing in, in your games? Yeah, so we start off in our first game we play Iceland, which is the host country. Uh, they are, I think, in 2A, and we also in, in groups, group stages, so like, uh, they are 2A in the champs. Uh, then we've got Estonia, which is in 1A, and then we've got Bulgaria, which is in 2B. I mean, are you guys, um, are you guys, as, as South Africans, are, is the South African team, um, uh, expected to to you know cruise through this. Is this going to be a difficult assignment? Are we even supposed to be here? I mean, um, it's definitely going to be the hardest thing we've done yeah. in the last five, ten, fifteen, maybe even twenty years. Uh, the expectation is there to go and play as hard as possible. Um, I don't think we have to be unrealistic that these teams are going to be very hard to play. But at the end of the day, it's a game of hockey, and they still have to be the heart of the day. Yep. I mean, any dog has his day, so... Absolutely, and Sydney, you guys know a couple of tricks as well. I mean, never mind teaching the, uh, old dogs new tricks. Um, uh, and, and, and I mean, uh, the, the one thing is, that I've seen is that you guys are high speed, very fit, uh, and very motivated. Yeah, I mean, we've been, uh, we've, 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 we've bought into the idea that we have to be the fittest team there. Uh, the boys have been doing every, everything to get that upper hand. And yeah, so I think we are, we've got that in our back pocket so we can play 16 minutes each player. We are good. Yeah. The, the one thing with one that, that I, I like, of course, when I see you guys play, and admittedly I've, uh, I've only seen you play in South Africa, is the fact uh, that the, the local fans get behind you, gosh, I'm going to say 100%, but that's probably underselling it, that's probably like 200%. Uh, how different, how difficult will it be not having the South African fans screaming in your ears? Yeah, I know it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. I mean, over the last four or five years, we haven't had the opportunity, especially before COVID, to pull. So it's going to be a completely different experience of having that uh, extra play in our back pocket. Uh, but I think um, I, I trust the fans to get behind us on social media and really get behind the boys so that they know that we're about to for the game so they can back and travel through to the game. Absolutely, certainly looking forward to that. Uh, and, um, I mean, do you, do you have uh, a schedule? You, you know, you, you travel on this day, you rest on this day, you've got a game on that day. I mean, have you got that schedule all panned out? Can, can, you, can you share that with us? 